Ready, Renice. And beyond. What it do? Shit, man. Real time Raiders back in this thing. Woo! Week seven. The Raiders. Five and two. The Raiders moved to five and two. We just come back from curb stomping, beating the shit out of the motherfucking uh, Philadelphia little pigeon birds. The Philadelphia fucking, the fucking easy eagles, you know what I'm saying? Got them the fuck up out of here. Hey man, I was feeling good today. You know, it's feeling a little better. Thanks for all the well wishes in the comments, by the way. But yeah, I was feeling a little better today. My kid was feeling a little better today. Watching the game. Man, the Eagles come out. They scored a little touchdown. This is how I knew it was going to be a good day. Because I wasn't even tripping. I was like, alright, cool. Y'all score your little touchdown. But y'all see what I got on, right? Y'all see, see this, right? Huh? It's one of my favorite Raiders of all time, bruh. Tyvon Branch. All right, that's one of that's that's a fun fact about me. Y'all probably didn't know, but that's one of my favorite Raiders, man. Uh, Ch Charles Woodson is my favorite Raider of all time, but Ch uh, Tyvon Branch is is one of my favorites, bro. So it was sad to see him go, but uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Had on my thirty three today. Went out. Score prediction was almost fucking correct, too. My score prediction was right there if it wasn't for that little bullshit little touchdown at the end to Rager. That was dumb. That was dumb. But it happened. Whatever. 33-22. The Raiders officially move into first place in the AFC West. The Chiefs got their ass whooped today, too. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Titans out there for that. But yeah, the Philly, uh, Phil Philadelphia Eagles, Philadelphia fucking Smeagles. We just peeled they muffin cat back blue on this beautiful Sunday before the bye week, week seven. You know what I'm saying? We going in week eight, first place in the AFC West. What did I see today? Oh man, I saw a lot. I saw a lot. I saw us getting to the quarterback, man. <laughs> I saw Yannick motherfucking Ngakwe. That's what I saw. I saw motherfucking Max Crosby. That's what I motherfucking saw. I saw them killing shit all game. They wasn't letting up on that motherfucker for nothing. They was whooping his ass. They whooped my Sanders ass. Hey, man, blessings to you. Uh, well wishes on a speedy recovery. But we lost our running back, too. Josh Jacobs, man, speedy recovery to you, too, bruh. But shit, we lost we lost some people. Y'all lost some people, but we still showed the fuck up. Y'all came out. Y'all scored that little touchdown at first. Didn't score shit until the fourth quarter. Y'all had your little run in the fourth, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Don't try to be what the Raiders was. That's what the Raiders did. Come out. At least y'all scored a touchdown at first. We typically don't score touchdowns at first. We just go out there and get our ass whooped in the first half. And then we want to ball out in the second half. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can't be doing that shit. Especially against D.C. We got a, bro, we got a high-powered offense. I don't know if y'all really understand. You know what I'm saying? Chucky was holding us back. That bullshit conservative play call and shit is holding us back. You see what the fuck we doing now? We throwing fucking first down tech passes to Alec Ingold, motherfucker. We're throwing screen passes to Josh Jacobs now. Bro, Kenyon Drake has played more in these last two games than I've seen that motherfucker play all season. Bro, it's a beautiful fucking thing. It's a, I mean, yeah, it fucked up with having a Chucky, but look, look. <laughs> look, bro, even if you was a supporter of Chucky, bro, you can't deny the facts. Look at the fucking play on the field, bro. That tells you everything you need to know. We are balling out. We are using Henry Ruggs like 
Not just a deep fucking threat. Not just in the deep ball. We're actually throwing the ball to Henry Ruggs in the short intermediate routes too. What the fuck? It's like these niggas, it's like they really got it in their head. They got it. Rich Versace, man. Congratulations on 2-0. Oh. But you out there fucking, babe. Hey, I, I'm not trying to get excited about you, but you out there doing some shit, bro. You and Greg Olson got this, these motherfuckers moving the ball, man. The defense is alive. The fucking defense is alive. Face on. Special fucking shout out to you, number 35, bro. You was holding it down over there. I, I didn't hear Casey Hayward n n number call one time. I, it was one point in the game. I was looking, I was like, is Casey Hayward even fucking playing? It was one time. Oh, it was because 35 broke up a fucking play on uh, on Smith. And I'm like, okay, why the fuck is face on on Smith? Where the fuck is Casey Hayward? Because I didn't, bro, I didn't hear Casey. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I did not hear Casey Hayward name all day long. That motherfucker was out there balling, man. If you don't hear, if you don't hear, hey, if you don't hear a DB name, that mean they was out there doing their job. I didn't hear that motherfucker name all day. I, I was like, yo, is that motherfucker even on the field? I saw 29 out there. But yeah, man. Fucking fumble recoveries. Fucking defense balling out, man. man. Hey. <laughs> hey, bro. I'm not going to hold you. The Raiders is coming to ball, man. Now, in this bye week, it's going to be real beneficial to us. We're going to get a couple people, you know, you know like some rest, you know what I'm saying? Get their little rest on, get them healed up, get, get healthy again before we got to go at the Giants, bro. But for this game, for Philly, ugh, man, it was like they went out there, they scored that little touchdown, and after that, it was a wrap. We was on they top the whole game after that, bro. I didn't give a fuck about your little run in the fourth quarter. But after that, it was a wrap. Y'all couldn't do shit. Y'all couldn't do shit, boy. We was on y'all ass. We put y'all motherfucker back blue, boy. We moved y'all's ass so bad. It was fucked up. I mean, I mean, it was like, what, it was like 30 to 7 at one point? I wasn't even tripping. I wasn't even tripping. I was like, bro, this shit is, this shit is over with. These motherfuckers ain't coming back. These motherfuckers is not coming back. DC was on point, 300 and something yards, two touchdowns, bro. This motherfucker went 31 for 34, bro. This motherfucker missed three passes today. Three out of a whole game. This motherfucker was throwing dots. This motherfucker was balling. That motherfucker was balling. And he threw a pick. Yeah, he threw a pick, but it was off of fucking Richard. You know what I'm saying? It was it was it was a bullshit bang bang play, man. We got some pressure on the inside. He threw it behind Richard. Richard kind of you know tipped it off, and you know the defender caught the ball. Whatever, whatever. It wasn't like a fucking. It wasn't an idiotic pick or nothing like that. It was a it was a bang bang play, and it all got fucked up. And the, the defense just happened to be in the right spot at the right time, caught the ball. Whatever. Move on. Because after that, they couldn't do a motherfucking thing. <laughs> they couldn't do shit. Max Crosby on your ass. Yannick Ngakwe on your ass. <laughs> Boy, hey, Jonathan Abram on your ass, man. Them boys was out there making plays today. They were balling out. It was rocking in the Legion Stadium, bro. It was just a fucking great day to be a Raider again. <laughs> it was another great day. I want to see if we can continue the momentum, bro. Because, I mean, I go, I get it. We got this bye week and it's going to kind of, you know, crash our shit a little bit. But who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? Let's get, let's get some rest. I don't even want to think about it crashing the momentum and slowing us down. We just going to slow it. We, for the, for, actually for our situation, it's actually going to be a, a good thing, bro. The bye week, I think it's going to be a good thing because we just got beside you. And I understand he, you know, besides his 2-0 right now, and that's all good. But, you know, give him some more time to implement his shit. You know what I'm saying? Let him get some more, get, let him get this week to really, you know, talk to the team, get his shit together, and really get shit nailed down. You know what I'm saying? Because the way that we moving, the way that we doing shit now, oh, bro, that whole first half shit is done. There is no more first half just dead in the water team. No, we actually balling in the first half. We coming out, we balling in the first half. DC got control of this motherfucking team. The defense is showing up. Perryman, 
man, it sucks that you got hurt, bro, and I hope you get better too, man. But Perryman was out there handling shit. Perryman is a bro. He bro, if bro, he he make me want to wear my fifty two jersey again, man. If that shit didn't say Mac, bro, I swear to God, I'll wear my fifty two jersey again. I see fifty two out there killing shit. You know what I'm saying? So hey, hey, man. Much shout out to everybody in the Raider Nation. Y'all celebrate this dub. The Raiders is five and two going into the motherfucking bye week. First place in the AFC West officially right motherfucking now. We are first place in the motherfucking AFC West. Talk your shit while you can because we don't know what the fuck going to happen next. And until next time, <laughs> I'm going to be back for the bye week, man. I'm going to have something special for y'all for the bye week. I might talk some shit on the bye week. You know, I might fuck around with y'all for the bye week, but... I'm definitely going to be back for this Giants game. But, hey, I'm going to holler at y'all next week, man. All right, now.